morning everyone welcome to the first day of classes if you guys don't know who i am or you're new to my channel hi my name is lauren i'm a sophomore studying chemical engineering and i normally have a little bit more energy than this i am up way earlier than i expected to be i set my alarm for 6 30 and i got up right around six o'clock on the dot which is just great it's a great way to start out the day first order of business for me is to get to the gym to get my running workout in uh, so that i don't have to worry about that for the rest of the day because i actually have a pretty jam-packed schedule today i'm gonna do that and i'll probably catch up with you guys either there or afterwards to let you know how it was and to also tell you about what the rest of the day is looking like so before we do anything let's just get this over with Alright, so the workout for today is actually pretty short. It's only a four mile progression run, which I think I'll probably start around an 8.30, 8.20 pace and then get all the way down to like 7.30 maybe. I don't know, depending how I'm feeling. And then after that, it's just eight by 30 second really hard intervals. So it should be done nice and fast. I'm really excited because I haven't been to the gym yet. Everything's opened up in terms of like COVID restrictions and that sort of thing. So we still have to wear a mask inside, but like all the treadmills are open, all the equipment's there. Should be interesting. All done. Just got back from the gym, solid, solid workout. Great way to start the day. And now I think the plan of action is to make my breakfast, make some coffee, kind of chill out because 9 a.m. is my first class of the day. It's actually called Extreme Weather and I have no idea what it's going to be about, but I guess we'll both find out together. It was a class that I decided to take because it fulfilled my last two gen ed requirements. So I was like, why not two in one? Like, let's just get this done. Plus, Extreme Weather does actually sound really interesting. That's the plan for now. Breakfast, coffee, get changed, obviously, and then class at 9 a.m. And that one goes from 9 to 9.50, so not too bad. And then in terms of like a quick rundown for the rest of the day, I have that 9 a.m. And then I have a lab group meeting at noon. And then I have my second class of the day, which is organic chemistry at 2. And that goes from 2 to 2.50. And then later on tonight, I have another meeting at like 6.30. And that's for club track and field, which I might end up doing. So that's kind of like a quick rundown of the rest of the day. But honestly, I'll take you guys with me and you'll see all of that. So yeah, let's get changed. First day fit. Done with extreme weather, and now I'm heading back to my dorm to kind of regroup. And there we go back in my dorm room. That extreme weather class was really simple today. We just went over the schedule, syllabus, kind of what the class was gonna be about. And then we jumped into a little PowerPoint about billion dollar weather disasters. So pretty interesting, but very light. Not too much to worry about in terms of classwork or homework. So that's really good. I think I'm gonna read some more journal articles for the lab meeting that I have coming up at noon. I honestly don't think I updated you guys on what's going on there. So if any of you have watched a vlog, I think from last winter, I had an interview with the professor about working in her lab and that ended up working out for last semester. I went to some of their lab meetings. I worked in her lab, not for credit or anything, but just to kind of see, kind of feel it out and get some experience in the lab. Because I was only a freshman, it was kind of impossible or really difficult to try and do it for credit, also because it was already second semester. So this semester, I'm actually working in another lab with a different professor, and this time I'm doing it for credit, which is really, really cool, but it's also a lot of work, which is totally fine because this is actually something that I'm interested in maybe doing in the future. So this lab focuses primarily on like nanoparticles and biosensing, which I really don't have any idea what that is, but that's why I'm reading journal articles to try to figure that out. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next like, hour or so and then I have that lab meeting at noon and I have no idea how long it's gonna go. Um, it's just like the subgroup meeting so within this professor's lab he has two different projects running kind of simultaneously so it's just like the smaller project group that's meeting. We also have an in-person meeting every Tuesday I believe that's with everybody in a conference room in the engineering building. So today it's just a zoom call probably just introductions talk a little bit about the work but yeah I'm gonna get to
to reading. Just finished up that lab meeting. It went super well and it is now almost one o'clock. I am starving so I'm gonna make some lunch and then pretty much head right over to my organic chemistry class and I'm also thinking after that class I'll probably head over to the campus store to get some textbooks and some other stuff that I haven't gotten for the semester yet. So yeah look forward to that but first lunch. turkey sandwich has been consumed and now I'm walking to organic chemistry. I'm really nervous for this one guys. Like organic chemistry if you don't know has such a reputation for being really difficult so I guess we'll just see what happens. Just grabbed my Orgo textbook from the campus store and now I'm just headed back to my dorm. So I'll see you guys when I get there. I think my plan is to get some work done in the time between now, which is 3.30 and when I have Four. my Zoom call. Four. I just got back to my room and some people want to say hi before I shut myself in my room and do some work. You guys have met Jenna before. Yeah, she's kind of famous already. Um, I'll, I'll tag that vlog like up in the card so you can watch it. We, we spent a day on my boat and yeah, and this is Why David. I've been introduced before. I've heard. I'm sorry. This is your introduction. You were home all summer. That's oh, true. This is David. What's up? The window is giving you some great lighting. Thank you. You know, honestly, you'll just remain a mystery. I, I right? <laughs> and the three of us make up the West Wing. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the West Wing. So we're superior. I gotta go to class. But yeah. Oh, Jenna's going to class. Wish her luck. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do twice. I like it. All right, bye. Bye, bye David. Bye David. So I thought I'd actually give you guys a quick little update on how organic chemistry went before I delve into my work. It's gonna be a challenge, let's just say that. I am so ready for organizing all the exam dates, due dates, assignments, like my notes and lecture videos, lecture slides. I feel like I have a pretty good organizational method and also a study method that has done well for me the past couple of semesters throughout high school. So in that respect, like I'm actually excited to try and apply that and see what comes out of it. But just the fact that it's a brand new subject and it's kind of like, as the professor said, learning a different language it's gonna be a challenge. So I thought because it's gonna be so interesting, I might actually, and let me know in the comments if this sounds like something you'd wanna see, I might do a little mini series on the channel about like surviving organic chemistry. Some of the episodes could be like just vlogs of the week of different classes. Some of them could be how I prepare for the exams, my thoughts on exams, or just talking to you guys about the topics I'm learning in class as kind of a way for me to study and learn the information. I feel like if you guys are STEM majors out there, or if you just happen to know, organic chemistry is a very difficult class and a lot of people find it difficult. And honestly, I have no idea if I'm gonna find it easy, if I'm gonna find it really challenging, but I thought maybe it could be fun to take you guys with me on this journey through the class this whole semester and we'll see if I survive, you know? Because who knows? But anyway, class was good. Uh, it was only 50 minutes. It's only 50 minutes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I went out right after and grabbed my textbook for the class, which was a solid $168. Fantastic. Um, yeah, but for now, I think I'm gonna post up at my desk and get some work done and I don't really have a lot of homework assignments, obviously I've only been to like two classes and I had one meeting, but I do want to put everything into my Notion calendar, kind of let all of the syllabi from my different classes marinate and absorb into my head so I have a bit more of a grasp of what my routine and schedule might be looking like. So I guess I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, probably either for the Zoom call at around 6.30 for the track and field thing or for dinner. <laughs> All 
All right, so my Zoom call just ended for club track and field and now I'm going to grab some dinner at the dining hall. So I'm gonna be joining club track and field. It's crazy. The Zoom call went super well. We practices Monday through Thursday, 6.30 to 8, and then one practice on Saturday. Super like low stress. I'm so excited. First. I'm so excited. All right, it's dinner time. Just got back from dinner. Honestly, it was so busy in there. There was no way I was gonna film anything. But now that I'm back in my dorm, I think I'm going to take a shower, just kind of relax for the rest of the night, maybe do some more work, just filling in my calendar, that sort of thing, but nothing too crazy. So with that, I'm going to sign off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. I hope you guys are having a really good start to your own school years, your own semesters, wherever you are in the world. Good luck out there. We got this. I hope you're staying happy, staying healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.